In this class, we are going to learn how to create a table from scratch in Oracle's SQL. I'm making use of Live SQL by Oracle. In our previous class, we had seen in detail how we can log into Live SQL for free and start our SQL learning journey. So before going ahead with this class and learn how to create the table from scratch, we will have a quick walkthrough on the documentation. I'm here in the documentation page by W3 Schools on how to create a table. So before creating a table, there is a syntax provided by W3. In order to create a table, we need to make sure of few things. One is what should be the table name. We should be very precise like why we are creating the table for. If you are creating a table in order to store the employee details, then it is always a good practice to name your tables appropriately like create table employees or create table resources or the workers, something like that. Also, we have to make sure what are the columns we need. Suppose if you want to store the first name of an employee, second name of an employee, date of birth, salary, so and so forth things, then we have to name the columns accordingly. Also, we need to be careful what should be the data type. Like the first name is a string of characters. So, we have to name this column 1 as a string. In SQL, it is called as varchar. So, we will learn in detail those things going ahead. So, if our salary is in decimals, like someone can have 2050 cents. So, then it is always a good practice to make it as a decimal numbers having two digits after decimal. So, like that we could have a employee email address, we can have some documents, then we have to name the data types according to the what we are going to store the data in that. So, while creating any table, three things we have to make sure. One is the table name and the column name and the column data type. So, those things are mentioned over here by W3. So, here is one of the example what W3 has provided which we can make use of. I have already created one table script. Let me just copy this from here or you can just type it as well. So, we will just type it as it is our first table. Now, the syntax is create table. Then, what we have to do is a name. So, I am going to name this as toys. If this is case insensitive, we can go for the upper case or the lower case. Usually, it is always a good practice to make use of upper case for your table creation or any SQL statements if you are writing. Next thing is for the toys table, we are having couple of columns over here. I am going to store the toy name as well as the weight. So, toy name I am going to name here as let me just put two spaces over here. First is the toy name and it is of type varchar 2 of 100. Next is our weight. It is of type number. So, we have to put comma when we have to come down. So, there is a at over here. Let me just put 2. Next is a weight. Let me just put the weight as like this. Then put one tab space over here. If you want, you can just provide two tab spaces as well. And this weight is of type number. So, once done, you can just click on this run. So, it will create a table for you. Here, if you see, table has been created. So, like this, we can create any table from scratch in Oracle's SQL. Now, if you want to see what and all details are available, then we can just search for the entries. Nothing to worry. We will learn in detail how to search for the details available in the table in our classes going ahead. As of now, you can just type something like this. Select start from toys and click on run. As of now, there is no details available. So, we did not insert any data into the toys table. We have just created. So, it is saying no data found. 